Good morning, everyone. This is Gal. We are going to do a little bit of backtracking and exploration here to try and finish off what we've got, or what we've got left. Uh, I'm going to check this cartridge first. I looked at, I went and looked up uh, the locations for them. Unfortunately, there's not a great way to tell, but it looks like this is correct for this one. So it should be... Ha. Last cartridge module. So that one was easy. I did find one of the health containers requires you to get all of these, but unfortunately the other health container, there's not a great way to tell. So I think I've narrowed it down to a couple to try. We'll see how that goes. Let's see what we get. The hopper module. Basing now recharges after your spin jump, and your spin jump does a little more damage. Okay. That's crazy. And hopefully not necessary, but I know that it's necessary for one of the things we've got left. Uh, there is a health kit that requires this upgrade that's in the uh, incubator area. So we're gonna get to that one. I'm gonna try this one first because I feel like it is... I feel like it's the most straightforward, I guess. That section to the or that I was looking for forever, which will so to the right over here. While I was playing through this area, I was sitting there trying to figure out how to get through this section for a long time, and the answer was I couldn't. Now, for some reason, there's no. Oh, it's because it's a secret pass. Quote unquote secret passive. You need the spin jump to get up here, basically. Okay, so you can jump infinitely here if you time it right with the spin jumps and the uh, dashes. Uh, that's ridiculous, but neat. Okay, so now we can go back over here. And there should be a section in the upper right corner here that we can now reach that we could not before. You know what, just for the sake of completion, I don't think I actually stepped on this the last time I went through the save point. Yep. 
this section right here. Okay, so that should be everything. That's our 100%. Okay, so now we want to go all the way to the left, it looks like, to get back down to that save area. here. Backtrack a bit. We do have to go back through this section. And then we get to the point of no return. I think we just continue. Like, that was a really short backtracking, because I was right. <laughs> Okay, hopefully that's all we needed to do, and hopefully there's a save point shortly. That was a neat section. suspect that some of their, that those sections back there are paced out intentionally. Mm. 
Oh boy, conveyor belts the best. And that looks fun. Crushers and like morning stars. doesn't seem to be locked, so maybe I just skip this. <laughs> Never mind, it is locked, and I'm wrong. I pushed the wrong button. Now we get to redo all of that. I really don't like these enemies.
Oh, good. <laughs> Well, 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 if it isn't my feline foe, don't be smug, I have ex you exactly where I want you, or haven't you realized? All of these challenges you have been through, all of the adversity you've overcome, those were but a series of experiments to see if you would make a viable vessel, and you've proven to be very strong and very resilient. You will make a perfect host for my poor, dying dog, Barkley. Okay. When I have the body of a soldier and the mind of someone who has killed so many people, so many. Imagine my delight when I find that Gary's patrol route was in this sector. I repaired the galactic broadcaster and sent out a security alert. And then, you imbeciles crashed your ship right into my backyard! Okay. <laughs> What? Okay, so apparently we have to fight Gary now. wrong button. I have a feeling this is going to be a multi-stage boss. Phase one down, and we get a health refill, which I was not expecting. You think you've beaten me? Like, I even need a mech. Okay, so now we apparently just need to fight him. There must be at least one more phase. Okay, this is scripted. This is it, Cat. You have no choice but to surrender. Your vessel has been damaged enough. Alert. Disturbance detected. Enter passcode to release hydroglobular tubes. Incorrect. Please enter passcode. Correct. Releasing hydroglobular tubes. Barkley, you need to stay in the tube. Your condition is unstable. Can you not recognize me? It's me. It's Otto, your friend. Your master.
<laughs> Is that actually it? I think that's actually it. The cat and the dog escape on a pod. Okay, that is adorable and awesome. So, for those of you who don't know, there's a long-standing thing within the Super Metroid speedrun community of saving the animals, which is there's a spot where you can stop and save the animals on uh, at the end of Super Metroid. Release the escape pod that the uh, like life forms are on. So. Literally, the animals are hopping onto a pod and escaping. Uh, also, it is the most cat thing ever that you are considered to have completed your mission when you're... Despite the fact that you've abandoned uh, <laughs> Gary. <laughs> Okay, that was a lot of fun. Um, even those two last, uh, those last two items really felt like attainable. Like those th or three items that I was missing at the end there. Like, stopping and thinking about it, yes, those are totally sections that I missed. It felt fine. I do wish that it had uh, indicators where those hidden rooms were instead of uh, not marking them in like spaces to still explore on the map because that would have made it a lot easier to, to backtrack to. But yeah, short and sweet, three hours. I am definitely okay with having that experience. Um, if you're watching this right away, uh, it's on sale for $4 on Steam. I mean, that was 50%, so it's less than $10 for the game in general. Um, yeah, I really don't have a ton to say. The controls felt really good. Uh, there's a few little frustrations, but nothing serious. The end boss wasn't super hard. Like, some of the other sections were harder than the end boss. I think... If they were really wanting it to be more of a challenge, they should have had a save point right before and then made you do the last two fights back to back without a uh, health refill. And that would have actually made it a lot more challenging and a lot... I think it would have made it a better ending. But I could also see it being too hard that way. Yeah, this is not a super difficult game. It was fun. Yeah, it feels like, uh, kind of like Cave Story's little brother uh, in a lot of ways, where it's fairly linear. There's a little bit of backtracking when you get power-ups, which uh, is more than Cave Story for the most part. Um, not all the power-ups felt super impactful. Um, but the power-ups you got, the movement tech was good. I would have loved to see, I would love to see this game get a, like a DLC or a sequel that used the bounce effect from the spin jump more. I had that one health pack I had to get by bouncing across a series of enemies and you can get a second jump off of your spin jump when you hit them, like even from the side. I would love to see like a vertical shaft, you have to like do a, a spin jump and hit an enemy and then bounce across and hit another enemy and like climb up it like there's so many cool things you could do with the movement tech in this game that didn't get explored really and that would have been slightly more challenging so i hope that they do something more with this and make this either an ex make an either an expansion to this or a um or a sequel or something, even just something similar, because this is really good. Um, I just wish there was more of it and that it was a little more challenging. Which, when that's your verdict on a game, is a good thing. <laughs> I would love to come back for more. Um, so yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you have, give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.